Are you wanting to display multiple digital decorations but don't want them to overlap with each other? Well, I'm going to teach you an easy way to sync your projectors coming up. Hey, this is Zach with Toiling Troubles DIY. So I've been using multiple projectors in my digital decorating since I first got started, and I always get asked the question, how do you sync multiple projectors so that the digital decorations don't overlap? Well, in this episode, I'm going to teach you an easy way to make it look like your projectors are talking to each other so that your digital decorations do not overlap and compete for the viewer's attention. This technique is essentially a low-tech illusion that involves using a video editing software to create gaps in your digital decorations and then filling those gaps with ambient scenes that will play during your active scenes. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, before we jump into it, I do want to note that this method only works when you're able to start two or more projectors simultaneously. If you are starting your projectors or media players by remote and they are somewhat far apart from each other, you need to leave yourself about three to five seconds between the active and the ambient scene so they don't overlap. However, you should do your best to try to start them at the same time. The video editing software I'm going to be using for this demo is Adobe Premiere Pro, but if you don't have access to Premiere Pro, there are plenty of free video editing softwares out there, and I will leave several recommendations to those softwares in the description below. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is drop in our first active scene, and that is going to be Witching Hours Wicked Brew. And then the second active scene we're going to drop into the timeline is going to be Twas the Night of Halloween from Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree 1. Now, as you can see, we need to create a ambient scene that is playing from Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree during Witch's Brew. And then we need to create an ambient scene from Witching Hour that's playing during Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree's active scene. So I'm gonna scroll over to the right side of the timeline so that we don't mess up our active scenes. And we're going to create a ambient scene using Witch's Brew from Witching Hour. So if I start this video, you can see the cauldron bubbling over in the very beginning. And that's the information that we're going to use to create our ambient scene. So I'm gonna start about right here, just as the cauldron's bubbling over. I'm gonna cut out the front end, and then I'm gonna stop it just before the witch enters the scene. So go back a little bit. That looks good. I'm gonna cut it right there. And then I'm gonna remove the rest of the scene. So I'm gonna take this clip, copy it, and then we need to blend these two scenes together to elongate the clip, make the cauldron look like it's bubbling longer. So I'm gonna go over to my effects panel, go to video transitions, dissolve, film dissolve, and I'm gonna drop that in between my two clips. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, not too bad. It looks like the cauldron continues to bubble over. And before we're done with this clip, we need to replace the music. So I'm going to lock the video, delete the audio, and then I'm going to go into my file section and drop in a bubbling cauldron sound. Cut out the beginning drag this over and then cut it so that it ends with the video clip. All right, pretty good. So our ambient scene is finished. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it right underneath our jack-o'-lantern jamboree active scene. And then it um, looks like I'm gonna need to paste this quite a few more times so that it fills the entire jack-o'-lantern jamboree active scene. Yeah, 
And then just got to make sure you go back in and add in that film dissolve transition between each of the clips so the cauldron continues to look like it's bubbling over. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is create the jack-o'-lantern jamboree ambient scene that's going to play during the witching hour active scene. So I'm going to go into my pumpkins bin, scroll back over to the right side of the timeline, and then I'll just drop in the two ambient scenes, which are going to be Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree 2 scaring each other and Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree 1 funny faces, just to give it a little bit of variety. So let's see what I'll need to do to make these two scenes seamless. So these two look like they blend in pretty well already, so there's not much I need to do. So I'll just copy and paste this because we need to make this ambient clip about 2 minutes and 14 seconds long. All right, I'm going to drag this back over to the left side of the timeline, drop it in. It looks like I need to make it a little bit shorter so that it doesn't overlap. So I'll cut some off the end of the third scene. Then we can always stretch that back out if we need to. It looks like I've got a little bit of a gap, so I'll drag this over so that it runs right into the active scene. All right, so it looks like I need a little bit of a transition there. So go back over to Film Dissolve, drop that in. Not too bad. Good enough for me, so I'm going to roll with that one. So I'm going to copy and paste the Jack Lantern Jamboree ambient scene over to the right side of the timeline after the active scene for Jack Lantern Jamboree. And then I'll go back to our witch scenes. And the next one I'll drop in is the seance scene from Witching Hour. So this is what your timeline should look like once you're done editing everything. We've got Jack Lantern Jamboree on the second row. We've got everything for Witching Hour on the first row. So now I need to break these out into two separate videos because these are going to end up being projected by two different projectors. So I'm going to copy everything for Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree. Then I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to save this first video. And once that is saved, I'm going to delete it from my timeline, and then I'm going to paste Jack o Lantern Jamboree back in. And then I'm going to save that as my second video. So the last thing you'll need to do before these are ready to export is lowering the volume during the ambient scenes so that the audio from those ambient scenes aren't competing with your active scenes. So I'm going to zoom in to the three ambient scenes from Jack Lantern Jamboree. And I'm just going to lower the volume so that you won't be able to hear it over the active scenes. But if you're listening closely, you'll still be able to hear it a little bit. So it looks like I'm going to lower it by about 20 decibels. The active scene for Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree, the audio is all the way up. And then just lowering these ambient scenes down again to around 20 decibels. And once that's done, you can save and export it. Now I'm going to reopen the witch and do the exact same thing with the cauldron ambient scene that we created. I'm 
gonna go ahead and nest this audio so that I don't have to repeat that process that many times. And just go ahead and lower it all the way down to 20. So again, you can barely hear it if you're listening closely, but the audio from the bubbling culture will not compete with jack o lantern Jamboree during those active scenes. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is add in some transitions between the active and ambient scenes so that they blend seamlessly into each other and the scenes don't fade to black between them. And once you're done with that, you can save and export both of your video files and they're ready to use. Ghosts and goblins of every size It's our time to terrorize To spook and surprise And savor the screams and cries Then for the main event I'll whip up some real torment With magical feats so magnificent Oh, how? Wicked by curse will be a spine tingling symphony of disharmony and venomous villainy. By what a spell I'll brew, I'll throw in a snail or two, and maybe a sprinkle of moldy mildew. Every ingredient adds to my spicy voodoo. Handful of manfrey root, teaspoon of buy of loot, into my boiling, bubbling pot, what a hoot! Pots and jars fill the air to add some flair and help prepare this glorious mixture of misery, doom, and despair. Oh, what terrors will bring when my goblin starts fizzling. It will soon ignite a smorgasbord of foul rites and sinister sights. Such wonderful, horrible, nightmare-inducing delights. Now, let's pick up the pace a bit. There's more that we have to fit. Some grime and some grit. And don't forget spider spit. I'll throw in this and that. The wing from a vampire bat. And top it all off with the tail of a rat. Wait, this is a bit too quick. I'll try to slow down the trick. It's out of control and making me kind of sick. Try to give this a rest. My helpers are all possessed and must be prevented from causing this mess. Nothing will stop me from making my brew a success. I'll wait my wand to bring order and clean up this mess. Aren't you impressed? was the night of Halloween, when all through the streets, every creature was stirring in search of some sweets. The moon shone bright o'er the new fallen leaves, and shadows lurked about like mischievous thieves. When out on the lawn there arose eerie laughter, I sprang from my perch to see what it was after. And what to my hollowed out eyes should appear but a group of small children with motives unclear. Tiny tots all dressed up as goblins and ghouls, carting sacks full of candy like sure-footed mules. They filled me with fear, this gruesome young gang, as they crept to my door, and in unison they sang. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give us something good to eat. If you don't, we will delight in haunting your house this Halloween night. I spoke not a word, but just quickly obeyed, tossing handfuls of candy to this beastly brigade. Content with their spoils, they closed up their sacks, then turned from my door and quickly made tracks. But I heard them exclaim as they scattered from sight, Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween to all, and to all a good fright. <laughs> <laughs> Come, come. 
crystal ball. Well, that's gonna do it for this how-to. If you found value in this episode, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And lastly, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Zach with Toy and Troubles DIY, and until next time, go make your own magic.